in Salesforce, when you first log in, you'll notice that you have a search bar in the middle of your screen. Uh, and this is actually called the global search of Salesforce. Uh, and it's going to search the entire database. So if a field is searchable, um, whether it's a phone number, email address, uh, any part of a portion of a text string that's a searchable field, you'll be able to type in a value here and it should pop up um, in, in the search screen. Now, before we search something, you'll also see that I have recent items pop up. So if I've been clicking on records in Salesforce, when I click into this text area, you'll see that my recent records pop up here. If I click this all button and do the drop down, I can actually filter this for uh, specific records that I'm looking for. So if you have a large amount of data um, that you're working with within your organization, you might want to filter down your search uh, before you actually uh, type in the criteria here. So let's just say I'm you know, strictly searching for leads. I would want to filter this down into leads and then uh, type my option. So that way I don't end up with a, with a whole string of uh, results. Now here, uh, I'm going to type in logistics. There we go. And you see that it's not only just going to pop up uh, maybe an account, it's going to pop up an account, the contacts that belong to that account, and also the opportunities that belong to that account. If there were cases uh, or maybe you know different things in the system that had the word logistics, they would pop up as well. So when you're working with a ton of data, as you can see, this could get out of hand if you have a very simple search. If you're searching by something very specific like email or phone number, you probably don't have to worry about um, you know filtering this down too much. But uh, global search in Salesforce is a really powerful way um, to find things quickly, uh, and it's probably your best bet. Um, to check this, you know, before adding people to a database if you don't want to create duplicates and, diff and different things like that.